Hello, Capricorn viewers. I'm going to get right into the reading. So it's pretty much just whatever the cards want to say, whatever wants to come out here. Whatever your person wants to tell you, I should say. I just dyed my hair, so that's why my hands are like this. Just bear with me. I will be doing my usual Zodiac videos too on the first, so check back for that. I looked for love in all the wrong places. My life is busy and chaotic. I feel numb. I'm running on autopilot. I feel like this is somebody who might have tried to replace you. They tried to distract themselves for you and they looked for love in all the wrong places by doing that. And they're coming to the realization that they do love you. Like, I feel like they try to keep themselves busy with other people, with work. It's like they just tried to push you to the back of their head. But, you know, and at the end of the day, it's like they realize that they do love you. You know, your energy draws them in. You're mesmerizing. You're beautiful inside and out. I want to talk to you, but so much time has gone by. I'm not sure how to start up a conversation. And if this is your reading and you'd like a private reading, my email is dragonenchantress at aol.com. That email is below in the description box. And if this resonates, please like, comment, share, subscribe, even just leaving a heart react comment. I'm trying to get back in the YouTube algorithm and get YouTube to promote my videos again. So I really appreciate that engagement. Just, just simply leaving a heart comment really means a lot. Thank you guys. Um, okay, so we have, I want to be your hero, your warrior, your protector, your for your protector, your everything. You bring out that side of me. I almost feel like this person felt like they couldn't be those things for you, so they tried to distract themselves. And now it's like they're coming to this realization that, you know, they love you and they, they want to be these things for you, even though they don't know how. They're trying to figure out how because they realize that, you know, they, they realize that they can't replace you is what I'm feeling. I've been spying on you. I, I observe and notice every little thing about you. I read your social media posts. If you're on a platform, I feel like this person's watching you. If you if you make, make music or art, I feel like this person's following you. They're watching you. They're looking at what you're doing right now. And they're working hard to remove the obstacles that have been keeping you apart. I can't tell if you're interested. I'm bad at picking up hints. I've grown up and I'm ready for commitment. So I feel like this, I don't feel like this is a bad person, but I feel like this person is, I feel like it's someone that might've let you go to a degree out of insecurities. Um, so what did we have here? We had, I looked for love. Yeah, I looked for love in all the wrong places. It's like they were, I feel like this person was kind of just trying to distract themselves from you. I feel like it was too much. I feel like at that point in time, it was just the, they would have had to step up. They would have had to be this for you. They wanted to be this for you. They wanted to be your protector, your everything, your warrior, your hero, all of that. Like they wanted, you bring out that side of them. You know, they did want to be those things for you, but I almost feel like with their insecurities, they just felt like they didn't know how to be those things or they just couldn't be those things for you. So I feel like they tried to, it, it's almost like I get the energy of trying to downgrade in a way. It's like they try to distract themselves with work, with other people. But it's like at the end of the day, you know, when they when they go home at night, it's like you're the person that they want to be there with them. It's like they, you know, they miss you. They they want they know that they want you. Um, but I think for a while there, I think they were doing the best they could to run from the connection and distract themselves because because of their insecurities they felt like they couldn't be the kind of person that you need you know they have you on this pedestal and they feel like the connection with you it, it's they know it's not an average connection they know that they would have really had to step up they would have had to make major life changes some of them I feel like would have had to make changes to their living situation or they would have had to make um like financial changes I'm not sure what that's about but but I feel like they would have had to, I feel like it just would have, it would have been a major uh, process for them. There would have been a lot of transformation that would have to take place um, in the physical world. You know, maybe, maybe letting go of toxic friends and family members, maybe changing living situations, like I said, and also, you know, mentally and spiritually and emotionally, I feel like they would have had to make a lot of internal changes, like possibly, you know, getting some mental help for their insecurities or traumas, um, 
really working on themselves, really, you know, becoming the person that they want to be just really, uh, you know, they, they really would have had to put a lot of energy and effort into, into changing. And at the time, I feel like they just, they felt like it was just too much. They felt overwhelmed. They felt like they couldn't do it. They felt like they could never, you know, match your energy. It, it's almost like they saw themselves as, uh, like a page or a knight type of energy and they saw you as like the empress or the emperor so they're kind of just like well this person's you know above me this person's out of my league I don't know how I'm gonna get to that point in time I don't know how I'm gonna step up and match that energy but I, I feel like you know like I said I feel like they try to distract themselves for quite a while but I think they're getting to that point where they're just tired of running from this they're tired of trying to distract themselves and they're just kind of recognizing like like they're they're not going to be happy without you. They're not gonna they're not gonna find somebody else like you. They're not gonna be able to replace that energy. Yeah, sometimes I cry over you. I've never felt this way before. You've been showing up in my dreams lately. I have commitment issues. I've gotten used to being alone. You're so empathetic and kind and thoughtful, and it's inspiring me to open up to you. Yeah, I feel like they almost, some of them, you know, some of them got tied up with the wrong people and, and ended up, you know, I'm trapped in a stagnant, unhappy situation. I'm drained and distracted. It's almost like they tried to distract themselves and they ended up, they, they just ended up repeating old cycles and they're recognizing that now and wanting to move forward past that energy. I don't know if I'm brave enough for this kind of love. There's so much that I want to say to you. Yeah, some of them, it's like they, they ended up, settling for someone and now they want to get out of that energy they want to get away from that i thought about going on vacation with you i can't figure out who i am or what i want i'm going to reach out i'm just searching for the right words to say Yeah, I feel like I, I'm just getting the energy of someone that's just tired of running. They're tired of running from love. They're tired of running from the shadow work that they need to do. They're tired of just they're tired of running from themselves. They're tired of fighting their spirit guides. They're tired of running from, you know, the kind of life that they want. They're they're this is somebody who's been self sabotaging for probably years. Who's really just it, it's like this person has kind of screwed up their own life over time. This you know what I mean? Like this person has. It's like they push away good things. They push away good people and they open up to, to toxic people. Um, this this might actually be that this could you, I'm posting a couple other readings. One of them is going to be up tonight and another one is going to be up tomorrow at the latest. So I would check back for those because this is reminding me of that energy because I got a warning for somebody. There was a man that was kind of self-sabotaging and. Um, and there was this toxic woman around them like a karmic and there was a warning about that. So I think some of you might be in that energy group as well. So I would check back for or your, your person, maybe maybe that's a warning for your person. I'm not sure. But I would check back for that as well. But but yeah, it's, it's basically just the, the energy. I get. This person is exhausted. They're tired of sabotaging. They're tired of being at war with themselves. They, they want rest. They want peace. They want to be happy. They want to, even though they don't know how to do it, they want to open up to a better life, to, to love, to, you know, it's like they want to start taking those baby steps finally towards the life that they want. They've, they've worn themselves out with, with self-sabotaging over the years. So anyway, that's the energy that I'm picking up here. And this could be for you. It could be you that's been doing this, you know, take it as it resonates. But, but yeah, that, that's the energy I get. Um, anyway, like I said, I appreciate your comments and please subscribe if it resonates. I'll be doing more of these readings regularly. So I appreciate you guys watching. Thanks.